my sister's a born-again Christian, which is supposed to infer that she has a renewed, imbued spirituality. But born-again to me means that she has an infantile outlook on the universe and an imaginary friend, which is the soft sell to frighten people. Hey, does existing scare you? Are you afraid that your life has no point or direction? Well, stop worrying, Mr. Gloomy Gus, because we're going to give you an imaginary friend that will forgive you no matter what you do, ever. How great is that? No matter what you do, your imaginary friend Jesus will continue to love you forever. Now keep in mind that his love does not supersede his father's outlook on spiritual habitation. Said another way, Jesus may love you, but everyone else thinks you're an asshole. Jesus' dad, aka Lord God Yahweh, the omnipotent romper stomper, the celestial being that is so full of love, he once sentenced his most beautiful angel to burn and suffer forever. And by the mythology, God and the devil were quite close. And he sent the devil to hell forever. What do you think he'll do to you? How do you get to heaven? You confess all the wrongdoings here on earth? Hold on to only pure thoughts in your heart and your head? And serve your imaginary friend in every act and deed? Until you shake loose this mortal coil. Then what happens? You stand at attention in paradise. Ready to serve God's army against the forces of evil forever. Until nothing else exists. And then they turn you into jelly beans. It's been a long, 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 long time. time, time. My sister being born again, whenever I visit her, I always ask her, where exactly in the room is Jesus? Is he over here? Is he over here? I don't want to sit on him. I don't want to crush him. Is he sitting here? Yeah? Yeah? Can I tickle him? Am I tickling Jesus now? Yes, no? I love it when religious people make it out as if they're being left out of the human contract collective that we all share in. Why can't they offer creationism in classrooms as an alternative to evolution? Why isn't intelligent design taught in school? Why? Because it's folklore mythology, you silly nincompoop. Evolution is based upon minor change and mutations over the span of hundreds of thousands of years. The Bible starts off with a man made out of clay, a woman made out of a rib, and an ideology made out of fear that solves nothing hurts most and condones intolerance in the name of spirituality. It is poison and I treat it as such.